from AEW, and you're watching The Joe Cronin Show. A wrestling podcast with attitude. WWE reportedly wants a little something different uh, for Royal Rumble, which is... I get a little scared when I hear stuff like that because Royal Rumble has got to be one of the best, usually is one of the most anticipated and one of the best shows of the year, most exciting shows. Um, you know, with the whole COVID thing, you know, you wonder 30 guys in a ring or how many guys will be in the ring. But you got to love an ambiguous sort of weird statement by the dirt sheets like this, Mark Middleton WWE reportedly working on something different for the 2021 Royal Rumble. There's no word yet on what the new plans of the Rumble are, but WrestleVotes reports that WWE officials want fans for the big event, even if it's just for that one show. It also is noted that regardless of the next location for WWE's Thunderdome setup, it's expected to last into February which means the Rumble uh, would be held at that venue. Huh. WWE recently extended their contract with the Amway Center in Orlando through Tuesday, November 24th, meaning the final events to take place at the Amway Center will be the Survivor Series pay-per-view on November 22nd. Hey, that's the day my dad died. Uh, and likely, <laughs> and likely, Jesus. WWE is leaving the Amway Center due to the NBA starting back up in December. The Orlando Magic used the Amway Center as their home arena. So, okay. So, yeah, I mean, WWE is going to be looking for a different location. And we, we've said this for a long time that it'd be really nice, I think, if WWE was able to do some kind of thing out near the beach or on the beach. I don't care if it's 70 degrees out there. The beach would be party time for WWE. But I'm really concerned about any kind of sort of change for Royal Rumble. Now, when they say change in these articles and in these comments, they're all clickbait. I've heard a lot of people say, have you heard about the changes at Royal Rumble? Well, WWE is reportedly working on something different, or WWE is looking at changes for the Royal Rumble. I don't think that they're saying the WWE is looking at changing the format of the Royal Rumble. I believe these rumors are, are, are talking about WWE wanting change in the location and how it's presented as in, like, what's going on with COVID. So they want fans there. They want this to be the first event where fans are back more and there's more of a whatever. So that is what we're talking about here, I think. And, and I think we need to clarify that because so many people are saying, like, oh, my God, no, they're going to ruin the Royal Rumble, you know, because of COVID, you know, whatever. And I don't believe that's the case. I think these rumors are all commenting on the fans and location that's what these are about. They want to change in location and look in the fans and what they the presentation of the surroundings. The rumble would probably stay the same. Now, so put your worries at ease. Calm down. And I think I will too because it's my favorite event. Don't change anything almost. So we can all agree on that. Now, if they were to change something about the Royal Rumble because of COVID, right? And it was an impact on COVID. You didn't want to have you know, 10 guys, 15 guys in the rings or in the ring. I'm getting to that, actually, in the ring. The only change that I could see making for the Royal Rumble based on COVID is doing something kind of like war games where there's like there's more than one ring. Right. So you put four rings, three rings or four rings. Rem maybe some historian or somebody can tell me who knows better than me, but I don't ever remember seeing four wrestling rings in a in a place together. In, in an event, you could put four rings in superstars could exit and enter rings as they want. doesn't matter. They still have to go out the same way over the top rope and the rings. I think it'd be cool if the rings were touching maybe so that if you get thrown over, you know, you'd go back into another ring, but you have to go out of the ring to the floor still to be eliminated. So the four rings would essentially form one kind of giant ring, but still be four rings. That could be kind of interesting with people like, you know, trying to jump over to the other ring to get away from somebody or different fights going on in different locations, weird camera work being set up, you know, but when it comes down to just two guys left in the ring, if that's what it comes down to, it could be interesting how guys work that running to the other ring and skipping over to the other ring, throwing the other guy in the other ring, battling all over the place, kind of like an epic end of a Star Wars movie battle or something like that, 
or the bad Star Wars movies because I guess the prequels, the battle at the end was ridiculous. The movie was weird. But you know what I'm saying, just over the top. Would that be too over the top or would that be a great idea for COVID? And then you could sort of, um, you know, wrestlers would almost be trying to social distance from each other while they're in the Rumble. Would that be distracting, though? Would that be stupid? I don't think they want to do that. I don't think they want to bring up social distancing in the ring. But I could see them saying, you know, due to the pandemic and what's going on around the world, you know, they, they this will offer more space. Doesn't mean that all superstars might not be in one of the rings at one time, but it, it could help, you know, with limiting some of the close quarters of the Royal Rumble. I mean, that would be something that I don't think I would mind too much. That's my idea. If you were talking like literally actually concerned about the fact that you'd have 20 guys. But we've seen WWE on Raw and on SmackDown have brawls where like the, the, the locker room pours out. People are holding on to everybody, punching, fighting, and there's like 40 people on top of each other. So if they're willing to do that, it makes no sense that really that they would be like, we have to have some kind of special rules for the Rumble. And most of the time, 30 guys aren't in the ring at once anyway. It's always like, you know, 5, 10, 15, you know, 2, 3, 4, 10, 15. You know, there's, never, there's never much more than, you know, I don't think there's been more than 15 guys in the ring at once in a while. I, I don't know what the numbers are on that, but I believe the first Royal Rumble started with just started with everybody in the ring. You know, they used to start Ro the Royal Rumble and they used to start Battle Royals with just everybody's in the ring all at once and they started up. So, you know, I don't know, you know, what's going to happen with that and what you think about that. But let me know. What do you guys think about all these things? I, again, I don't think there's going to be any impact on the actual matches themselves. I just think this is a, a thing about spectators and, and the audience and the aesthetics of that. I don't think this is about the actual changes to the Royal Rumble format as itself. But if there was one little change, that was one thing I, I could think of to suggest that would go along with the times, but also maybe make it kind of interesting. You know, I don't know. Or would you do it in one? You know, I don't I, I'm not really I don't even know. I'm not really sure. What do you think? Leave in the comments down below. I'm Joe Cronin. If you guys want to support the show, patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. Please support and also get 30 hours of bonus content. content. When you become a patron, 30 hours of bonus content, bitches. All right, here's some other videos popping up that you might have missed. I just uploaded these earlier today, so uh, binge my videos. I've uploaded three or four videos today already, and I'll be live soon too probably, so make sure you guys uh, check these out. Plus, I'll be live later tonight for the election. We're covering the election all night. It's going to be a party. We're going to be just messed up from this, and we'll be live on my other channel, Corrupted Nation, tonight starting around 7 or 8 p.m. See you guys there for that.